This week, Harley Davidson announced a brand new limited edition bike for 2021, the Street Glide Special Arctic Blast. So in today's video, we'll have a good look at it and go over all of the details, as well as cover off some other Harley news that I missed earlier in the year. I was on holiday. Revealed at this year's Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, this new Street Glide Special will be limited to just 500 units worldwide with a serialized number for each on the fuel tank. The snazzy paint job covers the fairing, front and rear mug guards, fuel tank, side panels and luggage with bright blue strokes over a pearlescent white base. There's a nice bit of detailing with a sort of hexagonal pattern in there too. Jochen Zeitz, chairman, president and CEO of Harley Davidson said that with the Arctic Blast limited edition paint offering for the Street Glide Special, at Harley Davidson we continue to build on our reputation and lead by example as the best in exclusive custom motorcycles and design. Brad Richards, Harley Davidson Vice President of Styling and Design added that the Arctic Blast paint is executed in strokes of high contrast colour intended to communicate the appearance of motion. I mean, hopefully it will be in motion rather than just having the appearance. The design looks bold from a distance but offers interesting details that can only be seen close up, including a blue pearl effect over the white base and a ghosted hexagon pattern on the fairing. Now the paintwork has been applied by Gunslinger Custom Paint in Golden, Colorado, who they say have decades of experience as a supplier of custom painted components for Harley Davidson CVO bikes and limited edition paint sets. Now it certainly looks pretty well finished to me and the Street Glide Special, in my opinion, was already a handsome bike to start. As a reminder, it's part of their touring lineup described as a hot rod bagger and it's powered by a whopping great 114 cubic inch V-twin which makes a massive peak torque of 158 newton meters right down at 3,250 RPM. Signature features include the batwing fairing, locking side cases, low profile engine guards and Prodigy custom wheels whilst the standard tech is pretty decent too. It gets their LED Daymaker headlight and the Boombox GTS infotainment system complete with two speaker audio and a colour touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. All for the price of £24,495 in black or add £6,800 for the new limited edition Arctic Blast paint. For my US audience, that will be $38,899 for the bike complete with the Arctic Blast. Not exactly cheap, but with it being a limited run, I'm pretty sure they'll shift them. Now, it's not the only serialized runner bikes that Harley have announced this year. They also launched their Icons collection, which in their words, is an annual program offering very limited edition motorcycle models designed to elevate traditional forms and celebrate Americana, either by revisiting classic Harley Davidson design themes or by exploring ideas that represent the future of motorcycle style. They're saying that there'll be one or two bikes a year and first up we've got the Electroglide Revival. Now I'm sure this isn't to everyone's taste but you have to admit it looks pretty damn impressive. Inspired by the 1969 Electroglide, the first bike they ever made with the famous Batwing fairing, it takes the standard Electroglide and adds a two-tone paint job, white wall tires, a retro tank medallion, an Electroglide script on the front mudguard, a white fairing and saddlebags to imitate the white fiberglass of the original, a solo sprung saddle with a black and white cover, spoke wheels, chrome rails on the front mudguard and saddlebags, a front mudguard skirt, a ventilator air cleaner cover, fork covers and auxiliary lights. Whew! So plenty to enjoy there, and like the Street Glide Special, it gets the 114 version of their Milwaukee 8. So loads of grunt for chugging along. As per the rest of the touring lineup, you also get 49mm forks with dual bending valve tech, a remote preload adjustable shock, cruise control as standard, the infotainment system we just talked about, and on this one, you also get their RDRS safety system, which includes lean sensitive ABS and traction control, link braking, drag torque slip control, and hill hold control. So basically you get bags of of tech in a super old school looking package. Now this one was set to be produced as a run of 1500 and I dare say that since I'm so late to the party they've almost certainly already sold out despite the princely price of $29,199 or £27,995 in the UK. But it's still interesting to see Harley leaning further into their heritage as part of their new hardware strategy with their CEO again saying that with hardware we made a commitment to introduce 
produce a series of motorcycles that align with our strategy to increase desirability and to drive the legacy of Harley Davidson. I guess you've got to keep your existing substantial customer base happy whilst also pushing into new markets and technologies with the likes of the Pan American and Sportster S. But the other piece of news that I missed is that the Livewire has been dropped from the Harley brand and siloed off into its own Livewire brand. So what used to be called the Harley Davidson Livewire is now called the Livewire 1 and you won't be able to buy them in Harley dealers anymore but instead in their own dedicated stores as well as being sold online. So it feels like they're going for a bit of a Tesla vibe with it now and recognizing that there probably aren't that many people walking into a Harley dealership and suddenly falling in love with the idea of an electric. It'll be super interesting to see what happens to it. Will the Livewire just die off over the next couple of years or are they going to invest in a new brand and develop new models to keep pushing it forward? It's kind of a shame as Harley were the only major motorcycle manufacturer to have a decent electric offering on the market and now it feels like we might be at the end of that journey but you never know this might be a shrewd move. It could help the Livewire to double down on the niche audience that it does have. As always I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below and if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this hit subscribe and I'll catch you next time.